My name is Tommy Dombavan, and I'm the author of a brand new series of comedy horror novels for 9 to 12 year olds, published by Candlewick Press, called Scream Street. Now Scream Street tells the story of Luke Watson, who's a perfectly normal boy, except for one thing, and that is when he gets angry, Luke transforms into a werewolf. Now all that stuff in the movies about werewolf transformations happening at full moon, it, it, it's nonsense. It's all made up. In the real world, werewolves transform when the rage inside them literally cannot be contained any longer and it bursts out of them in animal form. And the first two times that Luke transforms, he's okay because his parents managed to lock him in his bedroom, tie him to his bed, so they stay safe. But the third time it happens, it happens when Luke's in school. A school bully picks on Luke and Luke transforms and fights back. Now the bully escapes with his life just, but that night Luke's house is invaded, invaded by men in purple jumpsuits with no faces, just skin, no eyes, nose or mouth. They're the movers and they've been sent by Ghoul, the government housing of unusual life forms to move Luke and his family to a secure location called Scream Street. And in Scream Street, all sorts of unusual characters live there. There's vampires next door, down the street there's Egyptian mummies, there's ghosts, ghouls, zombies, bog monsters. Shh. Did you hear that? No, neither did I. This way. Now Luke very quickly fits in. He meets friends with a young vampire from next door called Rhesus Negative and a young mummy called Cleo Thar. But his parents aren't so happy. They're terrified of their new neighbours. They don't like having vampires live next door. They don't like having zombies burst up out of the lawn every 10 minutes. So Luke sets out to try and find a way to take his parents home. And this has never been done before. When you're in Scream Street, you stay in Scream Street. But Luke discovers there are six relics, each one left behind by one of the founding fathers of Scream Street. And with the help of Rhesus and Cleo, if he can gather the six relics together, he'll have the power to open a doorway and take his parents home. <laughs> I definitely heard it that time. So the first two books are published in August. Fang of the Vampire and Blood of the Witch. Followed shortly by Heart of the Mummy, Flesh of the Zombie, Skull of the Skeleton and Claw of the Werewolf. And if I make it back, I'll try and write some more. <laughs> <laughs>